This video is the beginning of a new chapter of this course. During this chapter, you will discover the awesome power of the application framework. So what is the application framework? The application framework is a single component, and that component has a special name. It must be called application.cfc with a capital A at application. The idea behind this special component is quite simple to understand. Each time a page of your ColdFusion application is requested, ColdFusion will automatically look for an application.cfc file. And if one is found, ColdFusion will automatically execute it. There is no way to prevent ColdFusion from executing the application.cfc file if one exists. Hopefully, application.cfc was designed with flexibility in mind. So you can have multiple application.cfc files in your application. The one used for a particular request depends on where the application.cfc is located in your application. Take this picture for instance. There are two application.cfc files in this example, as pointed out by the two red arrows. Now imagine that someone requests the home page of the application, requests index.cfm. ColdFusion will look for an application.cfc component in the same directory as the requested page. So in that case, ColdFusion looks for an application.cfc in the root folder of the website and will not find any application.cfc. Now, since index.cfm is directly in the root folder of the application, ColdFusion stops searching and does not execute any application.cfc file. It does execute index.cfm, of course. Now, second scenario, imagine that someone requests that page, admin main.cfm, which is in the admin directory. So ColdFusion looks for an application.cfc component in the same directory as admin main.cfm. And in this case, ColdFusion will find one. It's the second red row here on the picture. So ColdFusion executes that application.cfc file before executing the admin main.cfm file. Now, the third scenario, someone requests picturegallery.cfm. Now, ColdFusion looks for an application.cfc component in the same folder as the requested page, in that case, in the pictures directory, and ColdFusion will find the second application.cfc, which is here with the first red arrow at the top of this picture. So ColdFusion will execute that other application.cfc file before executing the picture gallery.cfm file. Now imagine that someone requests that page, usersadmin.cfm, which is in the users admin directory, which itself is in the admin directory of the application. Once again, ColdFusion looks for an application.cfc component in the same folder as the requested page, so in the users admin folder, and will not find any. So ColdFusion will go up one level, will go to the parent directory, which is the admin directory, and will look for an application.cfc in that parent directory. And in that case, ColdFusion will find the same application.cfc that has been already executed when requesting admin main.cfm. So ColdFusion will execute that same application.cfc a second time before executing users admin.cfm. Now to summarize all this, these are the rules when executing an application.cfc file. ColdFusion always executes the first application.cfc file that it finds. ColdFusion only executes one application.cfc per request if one is found. Now there is a way to have an application.cfc inherit the code that is written in another application.cfc, but that is an advanced topic that will not be covered in this course. ColdFusion looks for an application.cfc in the same directory as the requested page. That's the default behavior. And if ColdFusion finds an application.cfc in the same directory as the requested page, well, it executes it. If it doesn't find an application.cfc in the same directory, then ColdFusion goes up the directory tree of the application in search of another application.cfc and executes the first one that it will find. Now, keep in mind that application.cfc is a ColdFusion component. So as every other component, it can contain zero or more properties and zero or more methods. But because it is a special 
component, the name of some of those properties and the name of some of those methods are already predefined in the CFML language. So if you want the Confusion server to recognize the special methods and the special properties that you place in that special component, you cannot choose the name of the properties and methods. Those are already predefined in the language. Now, why do you want to use an application.cfc file? Well, to answer that question, keep in mind that application.cfc is always executed before the page that you request. So it's a great place to define the main application settings. It's also a great place to implement resource access control. Imagine that you want some pages of your website to be restricted to only the administrators. Well, because application.cfc is executed before the page you request, you can ask application.cfc to verify if an administrator is logged in, and if it is, you grant access to the restricted page. If it is not, if no user are logged in, or if the logged in user is not an administrator, then you can ask application.cfc to redirect the user to another page, and you prohibit the access to the requested page like that. It's the ideal place also to manage user sessions and also to handle some special conditions such as an error. So when an error occurs in your application, you can have some code in the application.cfc that will only execute when an error occurs. And therefore you can customize the way that your application handles that error. So this is part of the power of the application.cfc. In the next video we will create the application.cfc of our application of the HD Street Band website and you will see how we can define the main application settings in that application.cfc.